Hey guys, Bree here. Um, I wanted to do some first impressions. I got a chance to play the early access of Torment Tides of Numenera. Numenera? Am I saying that right? Numenera. Anyways, I'm going to go with that. So here's some of my thoughts coming up. So this past weekend, Chris was busy playing Resident Evil and I was too much of a chicken shit to play more than a couple hours of that game. I was looking for something else to play. I wanted to play something new, so I popped on to Steam, saw a Torment on there and knew it was on my list, installed it without really looking at it, and um, played, I'd say, about four hours before I realized when I was showing the game to Chris on Steam, I was like, oh, it's early access. So I actually had no idea and was playing through it and very happy with it without knowing that it was early access. But um, I did play through all of the early access content that's available. I wanted to give some first impressions. The game is set to release February 28th for real. This is a Kickstarter game. I think it's kickstarted um, March 2013 is when it started. Um, met its goal within like six or eight hours or whatever. It was like instantly kickstarted and um, supposed to come out um, 2014, got pushed back, pushed back, and now 2017, it's finally going to come out. Um, what I got to play of it, I loved, like absolutely loved. It's been a while since I'd done that kind of point and click adventure game um, that I grew up loving. Um, so this was like, I really haven't done one of those in forever. And I just instantly was <laughs> drawn right back into it. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with this particular RPG game is just bonkers, ridiculous world. It's based off of this RPG um, pen and paper game, Numenera, um, set in that world, which is basically there's eight worlds that came before, now it's in the ninth world, and every world has kind of left some stuff behind. And so they're kind of built on top of each other, and then each one of those worlds spanned like a huge amount of time. So it's just like tons of weird stuff. and. So you're wandering through a world that has really off the wall stuff like there'll be giggling floating purple triangles that you can interact with and you know things that dig, creatures that dig to eat but not digging to eat the stuff that the act of digging gives them the energy food it's just weird just weird stuff is really interesting so they launched a story trailer just today and I'm going to link that in the comments below. Story Trailer does a nice job of introducing you to the world. Um, basically what it is is there's this guy that made himself a god and made himself immortal by being able to create a body and then be in that body and then when he was done with that body he create a new body and transfer his consciousness to that. Um, he is the changing god and whenever he leaves a body that body gains consciousness and so you are one of these left cast off bodies but you're thrown into it as you know you're waking up and so the person you know your body has no idea who they are and you kind of don't know who you are and you kind of are falling from the sky and you've got to make choices um this is a heavy reading game i'd say 99 percent of what you're doing is reading and i'd say the first hour or so I was kind of thrown off by that I was like wow it's a, a lot of reading because you're sitting at your computer and I'll show some gameplay here though it's not very interesting because again it's mostly reading but I, I, next thing I knew I was drawn right into it I was it felt like reading an awesome novel except for I had feedback um, and it, you do have a lot of feedback every single conversation you get to you know there's multiple choices and you can go through things really be a very different character and then play through it another time and be a very different character um, during our Walking Dead review that we had um, a couple weeks ago, I was talking about how just I remember growing up with like even tech scams that had so much more where your choices had a lot more weight. And this definitely is that it's your choices. You know, I saw I read a couple of reviews and people like had completely different experiences just in that small um, early access game than I did. They were going through different storylines that I never even bumped into. Um, this early access portion is just set within one city, um, which is, it's a pretty big city, different districts, you know, below ground, above ground, whatever, but that's it, you're in a city, and I got about eight to ten hours of gameplay out of that, and granted, I went to just about everybody and tried to talk to everybody and do everything, I was absolutely addicted. I talked to everybody, and I'm not one of those people that, like, in these kind of games where you're in the town, I talk to the person that gives me the quest, and maybe two other people, and I'm good. I don't need to hear about every other person's story. In this game, I talked to everybody, just about. Um, 
I, I saw a review of somebody else and they had experienced some things that were different. So I guess I didn't miss some things or maybe I made choices that closed off certain parts of the story. What you do um, definitely affects your story and it ripples kind of through the town in different ways. Um, when you make choices, it affects your character as well. You kind of have this, there's this color code system and it tells you what kind of character you are so gold was you know what was it empathy clarity compassion blue is i can't make that bigger blue is reason insight wisdom indigo is justice reality silver you know so the different choices that you make change your character i'm not sure how much that plays out i didn't feel like people i'd walk up to them and they could tell something about me based on the choices i had made but definitely the choices I had made for the story so far affected things, but it wasn't that because I'm indigo, they could sense that about me or other choices were opened up to me. So I'm not sure how much that really plays into the gameplay of it. This game also focuses a lot on resolving conflict in different ways. So you're not necessarily going to fight. Um, they call combat a uh, crisis and then it'll kind of freeze the screen and then it'll change from point and click adventure mode to a more turn-based um, fighting. And when you're, I'm saying fighting, you don't have to fight. Some of the times you can take that character's turn and talk to somebody and resolve the situation that way or and sometimes not resolve it, maybe even make it worse, but um, it's an option. There's also ways you can interact with the different stuff around the screen and that might resolve the conflict instead. So you know, one fight that I got into, I was able to, you know, look around the screen as I started exploring the map more and then I found that I could get out of combat by turning these things off. So it's not just about fighting. Actually I say in the entire, and I played like eight or ten hours. <clears throat> in that eight or ten hours I only had to fight like a handful of times and one of those, a few of those I was able to resolve in other ways. Um, so it's, the focus is definitely not on fighting, a lot of reading <laughs> for sure. I don't, absolutely love this game. So it was one of those things where I sat down not knowing that it was an early access game, just started diving into it, had a lot of fun. Then I found out later on that night it's an early access game and I'm thinking, well, what, do I really want to go through and play all of this and then have to start over again when the game actually comes out? And the answer was absolutely yes. Like, I couldn't stop playing it. It was <clears throat> drew me right in. The story and the place, it, it's just such a strange world where everything, you know, you go into a square and Everybody you talk to is really unique. The whole place is unique. There's floating weird objects that you can interact with. There's, you know, clocks that have been stuck in time and, you know, have people trapped inside of them. So you have to, like, go in and save somebody's soul before you can unlock the clock. Or you could just skip that part entirely. Um, it's the first part of this game is just set within a city and you're going from place to place, checking out different things but you're never bored. When I got done with my eight or 10 hours of this game, I felt like, you know, when you finish a good book and you are upset that you're outside of, you know, you're not in that world anymore. That was how I felt for like three days afterwards. Like all I wanted to do was play more of it. So I'm definitely looking forward to it coming out February 28th. I have no problems playing it again. Um, definitely check it out. I'd say wait, because we're so close now. Wait to play the full game, but absolutely play this game. It is um, really fun, really interesting. It, I'd say it's not a game for everybody. Um, some people aren't going to want to read. Um, that might seem boring. I was never bored. The text was a little flowery at times. Um, I played the, the early access game, but there were some bugs for sure. Um, I'll show it up on the screen right now, but uh, there's kind of a notification area and that would stick a lot of times. So I'd get notified about something and then it would just hang around which was okay when I was exploring or going between different areas. But one time it popped up during a longer combat and it was just stuck on the screen the entire time, which wasn't, it didn't block anything, but it was pretty annoying. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys have played this game, um, played it, looking forward to it. Have you, did you kickstart it? Have you been waiting for it since 2013? I can't imagine waiting that long for a game I wanted to play really badly. I guess we all do that for different things, but Anyways, love to hear if your comments. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. On our channel, we usually do more in-depth reviews where we play the full game, but I wanted to kind of do a first impressions of this. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, till next time, see ya. Good luck and have fun.